<laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your favorite gringo, Nico Mega. Um, we're just pulling up to a property where I, I just found a 66. Well, not just found. I bought it uh, about a month ago. It's a 66 Cadillac DeVille convertible. Now, this is a super cool car. It's been in New Mexico its whole life. Um, it was bought at Lee Gallus here, Lee Gallus Chevrolet here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, and this car is really cool because it has some some actual Hollywood ties. So it was owned by a gentleman uh, by the name of Charlie Baca, who was in the movie Mustang uh, by Disney. It's a 70s movie um, made by Disney. And this car has super historical reference as far as that's concerned. Um, now this thing is, uh, restoration project absolutely I understand it's it needs some work so all the all the little trolls out there, uh, trolls out there can can uh, lay off when they see it. it it's a mess it's a true barn fight when I first came to to uh, uncover it and stuff but I do have pictures of it I don't have video of it I wish I would have recorded video of the car when I was unearthing it it's been in this situation here I think I would assume for about 25 years if not more um, it was under tarps and roofing material and weeds and there's piles of trash behind it that we pulled out of it and I've unearthed it I took the wheels off and I got new tires on it so that's what me and my, my boys my crew <laughs> little sneak attack uh, they're gonna help me put the wheels and tires on the car um, and then I'm gonna get it out of here so I can get it titled and stuff so all right on to the car now you'll see there is absolutely no rust on it. This is a true New Mexico car, which is huge. This is a huge score for a convertible. Um, when I got up under there, I mean, yeah, it has some surface rust, but what I'm talking about, guys, is actual cancer. There's touch coming in there, but not the typical fender well cancer that you see on these that are, that's uh, infamous for the, the GM bodies of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And again, look at my fenders. Slight little punch through. Um, and again, if you know what you're talking about, you know that this is not anything to be concerned about. Uh -huh. uh, some guys will, you could, some guys will fix cars where you can see the engine through the fender. Uh, they're so rusty. So again, for the trolls, I don't want to hear about. Oh, there's rust on the inside coming through. No, no, no. This isn't that car. And I don't care if it did have rust coming through. Again, it's a 66 Cadillac, guys. The metal is meticulous on it for what it is. It's a prime candidate for restoration. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. Got a sprung hinge, which is kind of weird. I tried unbending it, but it's not, not wanting to release. So, oh, I had PB Blaster. I'll have to get some on there and loosen it up. There's the original uh, 429 Cadillac. Original engine, original uh -huh, power train. Uh -huh. They left the air cleaner on it for whatever reason. I don't know why everybody decides to do this. As soon as they park a the car, they pull the air cleaner off. It's all the dirt and spiders and monkeys can climb inside of it and ruin the engine. But this, for whatever reason, you guys had common sense. They left the air cleaner. Good move. Uh, you see, it's an AC car. Uh, compressor's not there, but it is an AC car. You can see the unit there and the condenser here. And then you'll also see, uh, I believe it to be a cruise cruise control car. I believe it to have cruise control, but I'm not sure if it has the components. I'm thinking, I believe this is a cruise the cruise control box. And in fact, I'm almost positive it is. It's not hooked up correctly, but it's there. Um, and other than that, it's pretty much untouched. And it looks, supposedly it, it, it's a runner. Let's see. They're all run somehow. It's gotten a lot worse running. So no top, it was pulled off, but at least I don't have to pull it off. It's gonna make it hard to put a new top on. Uh, Cause I won't have the original panels, but they have kits and stuff for that. So this car was absolutely full of everything you could imagine. I think there's still, yeah, there's still a bowling ball on the back seat. This had a pile of ceramic tiles on it and all kinds of stuff. Plumbing equipment, it had a compressor head in it. It had all kinds of stuff. You can see a whole pile of stuff back here that we pulled out of the car. Um, but I did find the skirts, I have the original skirts, and the original hubcaps, which is cool. I think I have all four of them, but one of them's dinged. It looks like the frame's in good shape, the top frame. And you'll notice, if you guys see that, see the nice little lever there? That's a tilt, tilt, tilt steering column, which is cool. 
is a little, little crusty. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I'm still moving around. So we've got a tilt, tilt column. Has a Sentinel, uh, the headlight Sentinel. See the AC vent, so it's an AC car. Doesn't have Autronic eye, but that's no way. Oh, look at that. Original key. Key's still in the ignition, buddy. Crank it up. She runs like a sewing machine. Can't even hear it. Who's it? Uh, other than that, door panels are in good shape. Um, yeah, there's, you know, there's going to be scuffs and scratches. I get it, but it's all there and it's not all torn up. Some knucklehead didn't decide to cut the, the AM radio out and put some stupid Kenwood tape deck or some nonsense in there, which is cool. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. All the pieces are here, which is what I'm really looking forward to working on with this car. Everything is here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, except for obviously the door trim. Did get a little bit of a ding here. Not sure what happened there. Um, but that, you know, I, I'm not a professional body man by any mean, but I can easily get that out with no, no holes, no bondo. I bet, I bet you, I bet you 20 bucks and a, and a pizza. But again, look at the, look at the corner, the rockers. Look all down. I mean, there is no rust, which is classic on these. Uh -huh, and in uh -huh. a second, I'll give you a shot of the actual uh, undercarriage, the uh, classic floor pan in front of the rear seat was always a rotting area and this car doesn't have that um yeah little fender got some dents and dings i'm probably going to i'm gonna hand sand this see what how much of the color i can bring back out and uh i may even cruise it like that for a little while um and and just as a an original paint car it's gonna have scratches and dents and dings i get it and then uh I may cruise it like that. I'll get the top done. I have some buckets that'll go in this car. Uh, power bucket seats from a 66, as well as a 66 convertible console, which is a sought after piece that'll go right here in this area and has its own heater vent uh, to, I believe it's a heater vent the way it looks. I'll show a picture of it when I, when I uh, do my next video on this car um, that goes in the middle there. It's a really highly sought after piece. Yeah, so you check that out. Hold on. Uh, original Gallus badge. This is a uh, an original uh, Cape Ivory Cape Ivory car. The yellow color that you'll see. Uh, black top, black interior. Uh, more than likely, if the paint doesn't come back the way I'm thinking it will, I'm gonna do a buff primer and bodywork it, and then this car will get a color change to black. I'm gonna go all black. Uh, sorry, traditionalists, but uh, this is the car that I want to have a have the black Cadillac uh, theme song playing in my head. But yeah, there's my skirts. There's the there's the original caps. See the few in there. A couple of little goodies I found in the car. Uh, some cool stuff. There was there was actually a tin, an original film tin. Uh, I would assume it was something that Mr. Baca did. I'll get a pic of that too and put that on here. Uh, it was found in here, but the, the property owner is going to keep that. She's the daughter. Uh, yeah, just some other hubcaps and some plates and stuff. Uh, another cool thing. Again, we'll spot this. Uh, where is it? I think this is, yeah, this is the original bias ply. Look at that. Look at that trip. That's the original bias ply spare tire for the car. Um, yeah, it's totally ruined, but... Kind of a cool piece if it were in better shape. I'll probably leave it in the trunk anyways for, for show purposes and stuff. And then the original uh, spare cover. I think the jack and stuff is back here. I don't I don't recall seeing, uh, I don't recall where I put it, but I'm pretty sure I saw it. Um, oop, bang, bang. That's another cool piece too. That'll come up. That'll come up in another project. Another project vid. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Get that all painted and pinstriped. And then that's the original top boot. And then a lot of the cardboard is still here, the trunk cardboard. And it looks to be intact. I'm thinking I can save it. Hopefully I can. Um, yeah, look at that. Those are actually in decent shape for what they are. That one's kind of torn up. That's a little fragged out, but I'm going to leave them. If I can, I'm going to leave everything as original as possible, except the color, guys. Sorry. Again, it's going to be black on black on black. It might have a white top, but I'm going to do a black body for sure. 
yeah, floor is solid. I'll, I'll get better bid. I'm gonna strip the trunk. I'm gonna strip out the trunk and uh, show you the trunk pan and, and all that good stuff. Yeah, really cool piece, really well. It's preserved and it's not at the same time, but it's a cool piece. The original jack instructions, kind of neat to see that stuff. It is a cool color, but it's not a color I would have bought the Cadillac in myself. Maybe. I have a couple of original pictures that the, the owner's daughter gave me of the car in its prime, and it looked really good. It's a really good looking car. Another shot of the back of the seats. Everything's there. All the pieces are there. I'll need to find the, those glasses. Those glasses are going on the antenna. So if anybody has an antenna, power antenna for 66 Cadillac, let me know. I need one. Drum car. It's a drum brake car. That would have been cool if it had disc, but I'm not sure if that was offered in 66. I should know, but I don't. Um, somebody will call me on it, I'm sure. My 67 Eldorado had disc brakes, and I'm pretty sure they offered the option <coughs> on convertibles and Eldorados in 66. I'm sure Justin Gann cars will call me. Here we go. This is the magic. This is the floor pan. This is the floor pan under the seat. And you'll see the best I can from this angle outside in the dark. These floor plans are flawless. No rot. No rust through. Look at this. Same thing on the other side. You guys will believe me. I'll get more picks if you don't. Um, yeah, but this car's just not touched and it's not rusty at all, which is really cool. This is a super cool find. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. It's getting dark. I'm gonna go. We gotta get the. Uh, I'm gonna get the wheels and tires. Get the wheels and tires out of the truck. Easy. Can you help me get the wheels and tires out of the truck, please? I'm gonna throw them on the car. I just got some stock one-inch whites for it for now, but I do have the original. You'll see, I have the original wheels. Like a fool. I have a 59 Coupe de Ville and uh, I had a 62 Coupe de Ville. Both cars originally had it had the original wheels. And I was super young. And so I thought I didn't that I couldn't get the hubcaps on them that I wanted to. Because I thought maybe my hubcaps were messed up or something. So I found wheels that did fit on them. And I tossed both sets of these wheels in the scrap heap to go to the junkyard. And I truly, truly regret that now. Um, I saw it after, I wish I had them, because now I found out. Oh guys, I was 17 at the time. I didn't know what the hell I was doing with the Cadillac stuff. I was just getting heavy into it. I've always loved Cadillacs. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. But, but I, yeah, I didn't know what I had. And I tossed two sets of these wheels and I really wish I didn't do that. So live and learn but now i have one set at least and i'm always looking for a couple other sets if people have them um for my i still have my 59 coupe uh -huh, uh -huh. and now i have the 66 but i got rid of the six deuce too much of a project and i'd rather put it into this so all right well we're gonna get some tires on this i'll uh, i'll shoot some more vid once we get it on the ground with the tires on and uh i'll see you in a minute